unboxing of the Amazon Basics 70 inch pistol grip uh, tripod. I uh, ordered this um, yesterday at 3 o'clock and it showed up today at 4 o'clock, so less than 24 hours and uh, with the shipping charges less than 100 bucks. So came in a pretty good box, great condition. Looks like it's right from the factory. So I'll just cut this open. Voila. I don't know, should we do the slide or is there a... Yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. I don't go like this. So of course, one box inside of another box. So as you can see there, Amazon certified free packaging. Hey, I'll go with all the garbage like the other guys do all the time. We got the slice out open. Okay, now this was opened already, so I'm not happy about that. Don't know what it means, but we'll see. Okay, so again, we'll do the old inverted. And there you go. The tripod comes in the case. So, in that case, looks pretty decent. It's like it's good quality. Uh, I heard in other places they got two plates with it, the Ravelli, and sure enough, it's got two plates, one on, one extra one, so that's cool. Look at that. Uh, there we go. I'll do a close ups of this after. Um, I'm just for right now, just doing the main opening. I uh, don't know if I care the way that looks, it's a little cheesy, but grip feels nice and firm. Oh well, that is secure. Okay, well, there's the head. There are the legs. They are heavy. Let me just say that. They, uh, they feel really strong. Um, I don't know, plastic or metal grips. Wow, this is a strong tripod. And it is stiff, but... That is the tripod. And let me tell you, just from initial inspection here, this thing is solid like a rock. Maybe even too solid, as you can see right there. I can't even, oh, there we go. Just give it a little bit. But... And, yeah, there we go. So. Wow. And of course, yeah, it's got the, the feet with the pin, and of course, it's got, you take those off, and you've got your. Uh, your uh, pointers to go into soft ground or grass or that. Uh, so I guess I should lower that. So I'm just going to take the head, screw that on. Okay, what is it? Oh. You probably want to tighten that pretty good because it actually slides with the with the pole, but I guess that's expected. Now, I don't know that I care for the length of this ball. This ball looks heavily used to me, so I believe I got a used product, not a new product. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, this may go back. We'll see. But from what I can tell, that is a uh, Solid piece of work. Very solid piece of work. Or maybe they uh, scratched the ball intentionally to uh, improve its performance out of the box. I don't know. But everything else looks brand new. I mean, so, 
I will inspect it closer and let you guys know, but that's the Amazon Basics uh, tripod, not the Ravelli, but from what I've seen it looks identical to the Ravelli. Well, we'll see how it goes here. Hey there again, so now just a quicker look at the, the head itself. So, of course you got your one, two on the other side, three levels. Um, I was telling you I'm not level, I can't see it. I'm not, so I got the head back on. I had said earlier that I thought it was a used head. Actually, it's not. Uh, the ball head, it's just the uh, lubricant or not lubricant, but some sort of powder that was on the ball that made it appear to be like a used, but no, it's not used. Um, but anyway, so there we go. It, uh, the nice thing is this thing is uh, right at my chin level. I'm six foot three. Um, and this thing is right at my chin level and when my camera's on top of there it's going to be fantastic. I'm shooting with it here so um, I can't use it but uh, so there you go this thing is uh, is rugged. Um, I'll tell you the very first thing that I don't like about it and I know it's going to be an issue um, down the road and it would probably I think should be something that they, they can put in there quite easily is that it should have an automatic centering right in the middle of the uh, ball you know there should just be a hole there that when this thing goes over top of it it might you know release a spring a bit and just pop it in so you know that you're at least in the middle because you have no idea with this where you're actually at you know even once your camera's on it the best thing you'll be able to do is just eyeball it um, so I don't care for that at all um, I was really hoping that that little feature which to me seems pretty basic would have been in there that being said guys I mean it's it's easily maneuverable. I mean, there's no problems there. No, no, there we go. You can see right there, um, the motion is kind of limited. So, oh, yeah, so I'm having some, I'm hitting some resistance depending on how I rotate the head right there. See, you know, I'm hitting some resistance, but, you know, I should be able to go down to my right angle, and I can't. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So, okay, so, okay, my ignorance. Um, that would be the range by default, and if you want to go into a 90, there you go. And now you're in your 90, and you can do that. So, yeah, if that's the way it's supposed to work, then I guess that's you know that's just the way it's supposed to work. So, seems a bit odd to me though. But I don't. That's, that's loose. See, so I don't know if I get this. So right there, I can't go back. But if I turn this, watch. Now I can. So you're obviously you're dependent upon where this uh, right where the separator is, whether you can get the gun all the way down. So if that's in the front and you're shooting in the front, but you can go all the way down there. If you turn that to the right, facing the camera, now I can go all the way down, but I can't anywhere else. So I'm not, I guess that's the way it's supposed to work. Anyway. There you go. So, I don't know, I'll probably leave that to the side, I guess. So that feels pretty good. Uh, the release plate, okay, it's locked in, so let's just do this. Really quickly here. Boom. Another release plate. Let's make sure I'm still on focus here. Yeah. So I just loosen that. Let's see you flip the switch. Out it comes, as advertised. Okay, tighten it up. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this neck is solid as a rock. Yeah, I know I'm off angle here, so don't comment or tell me what an idiot I am. I know I am. There we go. I'm still at a wicked angle here. Maybe I'm not. Is it just me, guys? Or is that thing at a wicked angle? Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to run. I'll check it out later, but something might not. We'll see. This thing is rock solid. I'm. This was the part I was worried about because if I wanted to get higher up, you know, they preached about how high it goes, and I thought that would be a nice feature. And I was a little just concerned about how well that would, how snug that would be. But when that is locked down, and I'm not even, I'm just giving it, you know, my strength. But 
that thing is on there. And if I tighten it more, I'm sure it'd be fine, but I'm not gonna, so. Well, the one thing people talked about was, they said that on one of the reviews that if you depress the handle slightly, it gives you this rotating or panning ability without the forward tilt. I don't know where that came from. That's, I don't believe that's a feature built into the ball. It just so happens that when you slightly depress the handle, you know, you're not, you, you're taking some of the friction off, you know, enough that it might seem like you're getting a horizontal uh, pan, but really you're not, you can still move it. Uh, I'm wondering if the best way to do a horizontal pan might not be to loosen this, right? So you just keep that down there, even snug it up a bit and then just use that, lock your camera in and then just turn it using the pedestal. Now there you've got a, you know, even with some resistance, you've got a, a you know, a bit of a pan thing going on. So, but I, I can even see right now, I see as I'm twisting this camera, because this handle isn't at a perfect uh, angles, at straight angles, I'm noticing it's wobbling, you know, as I'm turning it. So that's a disappointer. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be a real issue actually. It really needs that. I might even look at taking this thing apart and seeing what kind of mechanism it is and drilling a hole down in that middle because other than that, if it had that hole in the middle, this would be a, this would be an all-star. This thing is rock solid, guys. Um, it might be the Ravelli with a different name. It's actually got no name, so there's no Amazon name on it whatsoever, so you won't be embarrassed about taking it out in public. Well, you might be if anybody knows what it is, but... Um, I definitely have no problems taking this out and the reason why I got it is I'm very interested in doing uh, nighttime uh, photography and uh, I need uh, something solid so I'm not getting that camera shake because I don't want to let any light in or have the camera doing anything more than it needs to. Anyway, there's the uh, Pistol Grip Amazon Basics also known as aka the Ravelli uh, 70 inch Pistol Grip Tripod. Um, at the very least guys, I believe this is worth it just for the tripod. Um, I may even just buy the other one that they have, the other Amazon Basics, just for the film head. Uh, and it wouldn't hurt to have another set of legs. So I mean, for less than 175 bucks, you can pick up your, you know, little bullshitty pistol grip and a movie camera and you're set to go. But, but again, I, I, I'm sure I'm not going to be overall happy with the fact that I can't center this. That's going to be, uh, that's a real, that's an issue. Anyway, there you go, folks. Okay, so here is the piece that's defective. Um, not defective, but something's not right here. It's um, it's in there cockeyed, and I can't unscrew it. There, you can kind of see there that it's uh, there. We go. It's just a little something's not. Anyway, uh, the other plate works fine. I'm gonna I'll investigate this further, but um, there is something there. But upon closer inspection, I just want to say to people that probably would be a good idea to replace this with something better. Um, inside there's just a simple little lock, um, a lock washer that I don't know if you can see in there, but it's only, it's, its diameter is pretty minimal when you consider what it, what it might have to hold on top. So I'm definitely going to uh, replace this fitting with something else that uh, will provide a wider base on the bottom here to uh, snug up against the camera because right now I, I don't I don't see how this is going to hold up. This 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 I think will be a, a, a source of failure um, probably before anything else. So there you go, just a heads up. But but again, guys, you know it's solid, it's metal, it's it's well built, and that's why I'm saying that I can easily uh, rig something. That's a that's a, a two dollar part. Sorry, that's a two dollar part at your uh, local hardware store. Anyway, there you go.